Before, whenever I went to a doctor, they would all freak out because of the way my lungs sound. Don't stop blowing, keep pushing, you can do it, you can do it, keep squeezing, keep pushing. All I out. was first diagnosed with asthma after having atypical tuberculosis in 1992. <coughs> oh, that was fun. For me, almost anything will cause an attack. <laughs> physical activity will always do it. And it, it doesn't have to be a lot of physical activity. I had a hard time even doing the cooking and stuff, just standing there and because and, and, you, you're constantly moving, doing the things, and I would, I'd have to sit in that chair and I'd be the one cutting up the, the food. Asthma is um, a disease that is on the rise. It is something that has taken on epidemic proportions. I stay breath. I start wheezing and I'll start coughing. And if I don't stop and take a nebulizer or something, I would end up in a full-blown asthma attack. And then sometimes the nebulizer wouldn't work and I'd do two or three of them, it wouldn't work and I'd end up in the emergency room. I've done all of your breathing meds like Spiriva, your Simbacor, your Advair. None of those seem to kick in. The asthmatic airway tends to have a lot of inflammation in reaction to uh, things that uh, we breathe in. Over time, that leads to increase in the thickness of the bronchial tubes. This is the airway of a normal person, and this is the airway of somebody with asthma. And as you can see, there is a narrowing of the airway opening and um, increased thickness of the bronchial wall. Bronchial thermoplasty is a new non-drug treatment for uh, patients with severe asthma. The procedure itself, this bronchial thermoplasty, it's a minimally invasive technique where we put a bronchoscope, which is a flexible tube with a camera at the end, into the asthmatic airway, into the bronchial tubes, and pass a catheter, which then delivers a low level of heat energy to the inside of the airway. By doing that, it can cause thinning of the muscle that's around the bronchial tubes and decrease the severity of uh, bronchoconstriction. Deborah's um, actually was our first patient that we uh, did this procedure on. She has had a rough last few years. Before this treatment, I had done everything possible that there was left. My breathing had considerably gotten worse. Even with the steroids and all the treatments, I went from an 80% breathing capacity down to 60% by the time I had my first thermoplast treatment. So when this treatment became available, I jumped right on it. Bronchial thermoplasty is performed as an outpatient procedure in three different treatment sessions performed three weeks apart. She completed her last treatment two weeks ago. Three weeks after that, I went on vacation to the Outer Banks, and I did really good. We had a four-story house, so and it was stairs and no elevators. Those kicked my butt, but I did them before I couldn't have done them. I was able to walk down to the beach. Life is definitely much better. My grandsons play baseball. We do a lot of things out in the yard. We play catch, things like that. Before, if I did these things, I'd end up with an asthma attack. It'd be nice to see a little baby deer. My breathing test went way up. It was beautiful. Nebulizers I'm not using every day. I was using them two or three times a day before. I'm very thankful I did this.